Hello, Keller Williams. This is Ryan with the KW Tech training team again, and I'm back with another tip on how you can create fantastic custom pages and landing pages in your new upgraded agent website. So today's topic is going to be a little bit more advanced for those of us that might want to bring components from other websites on the internet into our branded KW agent site. So we're going to be taking a look at how we can use the HTML embedding tool as a module on our custom pages to bring those aspects in. Now I'm here on a custom page that we've created and as I've already added the header and the title of the page, it's time to add contents via our modules. And HTML embedded code is going to work the exact same way. This time when we click on add module, we're going to navigate to our miscellaneous module types to be able to find our HTML embed module. And let's go ahead and click that to add it to our page. And you'll notice here that the module itself is pretty bare bones. I'm going to be able to select from this shared category any HTML embed options that I have already included in my site's content library. And if I have not yet included any, I'll also be able to add some here. So let's click on the magnifying glass to search what I've already added to my site's library. And oh, it looks like there are no matching items because I have not yet added any modules. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the new HTML embed module here. And that's going to open a window in which I'm able to paste that raw HTML from wherever that source location may be and really bring that component directly into the page that we're creating together for our site. So I'm going to go ahead and use HTML code that I previously copied. You can all often find this on website components, everything from YouTube videos to ways for someone to engage with you through another integrated service you're purchasing and maintaining and subscribing a subscription for. So I'm just going to paste that HTML directly into the HTML section of the module. And publishing that is going to then add it to my site's content library for me to pull from. Oh, but first, before, of course, I publish it, I need to make sure I give it a name. So let's make sure that we're identifying this in a way that makes sense to us and will allow us to locate it again in our content library. So let's call this the new agent sites video. I'm using the example of HTML code copied from a YouTube video, but you can again do this with any HTML that you write or find online. So now we should be able to go ahead and publish that. It will live here within our site's content library for us to pull from whenever we should need it. And I'm going to navigate back to that page we were working on together in order to now find that component in my library and select it to add to that HTML embed module. And as we can see here reflected on my preview, that video is now going to be a part of the custom page that I'm creating, where I can then stack it with other modules by adding additional ones, or use that as a standalone page component if that HTML code has what I need in the page itself. And adding HTML to our custom pages or landing pages in our site builder is really just that simple. HTML is often going to be coming from another source, so if you are not someone who is writing your own code, that that's okay. You can always pull it from any embed code on a component you'd like to include on your site and really bring that element of customization directly into your branded agent site. This was just one tip of many, and there are lots of other kinds of modules you can incorporate into your custom pages. So go ahead and check out those other videos to see what else is in store.